five. So I'm supposed to solve this, and there's a little bit of a problem with this, and the problem I see, well, besides there being x's in the exponent, is that my bases aren't the same. But I feel pretty happy about this because I think I can write this as 2 raised to a power, and I can also write this as 2 raised to the power. I know that 1 half can be, can't it be 2 to the negative 1? Does anyone agree with me re rewriting it as 2 to the negative 1 for a half? Well, you'll see in a second that I think that we're going to be able to solve it if we could just, so in the same way, how can, can anybody figure out how to rewrite negative one? Negative three. Yeah. What? One over, t or yeah, two mm -hmm. to the negative three. Come on, write a two. Two to the negative three to the two x minus three. I didn't get it. That's why I'm asking for else. And then I can, um, I think what I'm going to do is leave the twos alone, but I know that I can multiply, like I can kind of, uh, distribute this. So I think this can be written as 2 to the, the 3 times 2 to the negative 6 plus 9. Does anybody agree with that? Why am I allowed to do that? Rule of yeah, one of the properties of exponents. So I think I've done that. Oh, I meant I lost my x though. Right, so I think now that I have the same base, I think I can just set the exponents equal to each other. So over here on the side, like on scratch paper, I'm going to say negative 6x plus 9 is equal, is that a plus? Yes. Um, negative x minus 2, and then I could add 6x to both sides. And then I would have 9 is equal to... 5x minus 2, and then I could add 2 to both sides. And I got 11. 5x divided. Now, I got x's 11 fifths, and your book got x is 11 fifths. So that way worked. So is that okay? Yeah? Okay. I'm going to click.